Why does this hamster have a large lump on its chin? What caused it, and will it disappear by itself? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video brought to you by Topayo Vets. Okay, 15 April 2014. This uh, one, one year, eight months old hamster. Is it male? Yeah, male. Male comes in with a uh, swelling uh, on the chin. Can take out. And we wait for is he eating? Uh, he's not eating or drinking. I've been strange feeding him the past like three to four days. So we wait for so not eating and drinking. So now it's already 42 grams around it. How, how many grams was it when two weeks ago? Two weeks ago was, was 50 weeks? something. Wait at the other vet? 50. 50, yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, it's bad news because uh, when hamster loses, loses weight, that means uh, it's something serious. Uh. So now, okay, come show the, the lump. The, the lump is on the. He bites you or not? Uh, he doesn't bite unless he's in pain. Okay, now you show the lump. Okay. You can see the lump here. This is a quite big one, about 1 cm. Now we feel it. It's quite hard. It still could be an abscess, but uh, this abscess is hardened. So, so uh, the primary diagnosis could still be abscess, but because I didn't see the original. How does it happen? Does it happen from the lips? Uh, the lips? Do you I'm, know? I'm thinking you if you see the, hmm? the, the, our right side, right? There is this oh, lump over there. The hamster's right side or your right side? Uh, our right side. Oh, be, be, uh, there is this lump on the edge. Uh. Uh, there is this lump on the edge of his cheeks. Yeah, the left uh, side. Uh. I don't know what that is, but that appeared first, then slowly afterwards all this, the, Was, the, Okay, that left lump, yeah. left left lump on, on the on this side right, you're talking about on the on the yeah, left, right, side. Right. left side. This left lump actually looks very much like a wart, uh, and uh -huh. if it had been removed long earlier on, it probably would have been uh, wouldn't have led to this. Uh, because what happened is the hamster tried to eat, and then I this wart irritated him. I mean, the eye. Hmm? It irritates him, <laughs> so he keep on rubbing, scratching the wart off, but can't come out. I see. So then it, it damages his chin. It damages his chin. No, just, let's just show me. So he damaged his chin. <coughs> and then uh, there's a reaction and the thing inflamed. I presume he's talking about it started with the left side first. Yeah. And then after the bacteria goes to the right side. So the whole thing becomes uh, very stolen. Okay, so now it, it's most likely it's an abscess now. It's not it's not a tumor. Uh, it's just that uh, what, what medication the vet give to you? Uh, he gave me weeks? 10 days of betrayal once a day. And that's all. The hamster was hospitalized for the next two days for observation. Prednisolone, an anti-inflammatory, was given to relieve the swelling. April 16, 2014, 9 a.m., the first day of hospitalization. The hamster was scratching at its head constantly. This shows that the growth was itchy or painful. You can see this, the, the, the skin folds, doesn't fall easily. So we did give the four things, the prep of one drop, biolipis is electrolytes, electrolytes and then a fiberplex, also one drop and water, 0.1 ml. And uh, today, as you can see, and see the hamster is slightly better and more active and uh, is grooming himself. Now I spoke to the owner. The owner says that he's been scratching recently, scratching a lot. And until the the hair is gone, biting the hair of the the leg, you can see these do self self uh, inflicted biting. Now this could be not related to this. Now yesterday after the prednisolone was given. You can see that the swelling has gone down a lot. Not so hard as yesterday. And so today I'm going to give another drop of the prednisolone. I put it back first so that it doesn't run away. So I prepared it. I prepared one drop. And uh, I, I hold the hamster and put it in the mouth. Just one drop. Let him rest a while. You can see it's still dehydrated. So now I will give the electrolytes which is uh, also one drop and uh, 
So he left for like one drop. Okay, let him rest a while first. So the the third, third one I think I should give water first so that he can swallow the the medicine, prep and barley peas. And uh, of course water you can give a bit more. 0 0.2 doesn't uh, matter as he said then drink. As you can see the swelling makes it difficult for him to to eat. Now for hamster don't hold too long. Otherwise he may die from uh, stressful handling. So I just let him rest a while. And uh, the final one for today will be this. This is a fiberplex. Contains uh, food for rabbits actually. Now, okay, now, now he's okay. So I will just put in a bit more would do. Otherwise he has not enough. Uh, nutrients to move his bowels okay so let me rest a while first then I use water again okay you can see there's a swelling here there's a cheek pouch okay so now I give water now this hamster does bite so you got to be careful okay, let me rest a while but and uh, probably, of course, all this should be done slowly. And uh, you can see that uh, he's swallowing. And uh, definitely, he's much stronger today than yesterday. I did video yesterday as well, but uh, we'll see the video at, at later. Now, the next thing I want to see is whether his teeth has overgrown or not, the lower teeth. So, so I open up the mouth to check the teeth. Now you can see his teeth. There's something wrong. There's pus or something. There's something wrong. It's not overgrown, the teeth not overgrown, but you can see the swelling is really gigantic. Now. So it could be abscess softening. So now we just leave him alone because he's stressed out by handling and uh, so there's no need to clip the teeth. So uh, that's the end of it. So we just do again later on. In the afternoon, Dr. Singh reviewed the hamster's condition. He used a plastic spatula to open the hamster's mouth. During the examination, he discovered that the growth had an opening inside the hamster's lip and was oozing pus. So this indicates that the growth is a ripened abscess. Dr. Singh drained the pus from the abscess partially to avoid overhandling the hamster. Seventeenth April, twenty fourteen. This is eleven thirty a.m. This dwarf hamster had a chin swelling about three days ago and was seen by another vet. Now I will bring it up later. I just want to show that uh, when he came in two days ago, he wasn't eating, but now you can see since uh, nine to eleven thirty now, you can see three three stool pellets. But actually, there are more than that. Uh, my, my assistant has cleaned up and he said there were numerous stool pellets. This showed that the hamster had eaten overnight and uh, he no longer feels any pain inside his mouth. And he has also drunk, so you can see it's not dehydrated. The chin, the chin now is not so swollen as yesterday is about, uh, I would say it's about uh, 
eighty percent uh, not so swollen. That means this twenty percent swelling now as compared to two days ago. Now I will check the I will express the pass. The pass actually the wound is from inside. Now normally I use anesthetic but because he was so weak or he's so weak so I dare not use the anesthetic in case he dies. Now you can see the pass coming out. And see it? So this is really terrible this pass. Huh? So he can't do it himself. So human intervention. Now this pass is from the chin swelling early on there. So so I will press out all and then uh, he should feel much better and he will recover. Now then you see the swelling is no more. Now I have to express as much as I can without traumatizing him and stressing him out. So uh, I, I won't be uh, doing it for, for, uh, for a long time because sometimes they die when they are stressed out by handling. I put it back here and, uh, and that's it. I, I don't do more than that. But as you can see the pass is uh, it's quite a lot here. Now normally I do use an alcohol swab to clean up but uh, in this case, uh, some hamsters are very sensitive to these uh, chemicals. So normally I just use the plain uh, gauze swab without, without any uh, disinfectant. And normally they're okay. So now I'm going to put it back here and uh, let him rest. Let him rest and recover till, till tomorrow. He'll be given a water bottle and uh, I think he should be able to go home to a happy owner. Okay, thanks. The hamster will be hospitalized for the next few days while the vet continues to express the pus from the chin excess. This hamster had not been drinking or eating for a long time when admitted and is in poor health. Therefore, the drainage of the abscess must be done in short stages as shown in this video. Otherwise, the hamster may die from stress. Is it there? Mm -hmm. 35, huh? Just say the date, date and time. 17 April 2014. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. The weight is 35. At 6 p.m., uh, there's more pass, you see? So it's not ready to go home yet. Okay, this is a pass. And although there's less, but uh, it seems that this abscess is quite deep. It's quite deep, and uh, you can see that it's still there. The more, more pass. To be to be drained tomorrow, so we don't do all at one one time. So that's why I do it this morning, and then now we do again, and then uh, let him rest. Did the eyes pop up? Okay, let him rest. You okay, can see the pass. Huh? Okay, so this is the timeline of six p.m. Now let him rest already. Yeah. The hamster will be sent home to recuperate after its abscess is drained. Why were the warts not removed before they caused the infection? So, okay, so the vet told you early on that uh, <coughs> warts should not be removed. Actually, warts should be removed. Yeah. I mean, if it's causing trouble, is it? Because there was one on his ear uh, last year in uh, October. Mm. And you said, just monitor it. If it doesn't mm. grow too big, then you can just leave it. I think he scratched it off. It's no longer there anymore. Yeah, some warts can be scratched uh, off yeah. On this left ear. Although some growths will disappear in time or be scratched off by the hamster, others may irritate the hamster and result in infection from scratching, as in this case. Any growths or lumps on your hamster should always be seen by a veterinarian.